Today we're diving into an essential aspect of digital cameras, the camera shutter count. If you ever wondered what it is and why does it matter and how to check it, you come to the right place. My name is Oleg and I would like to welcome you to my channel where I share all the tips and tricks and solutions that I've learned throughout freelancing and owning video production business. And if you're into that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. Let's dive in. Camera shutter count is a shutter actuation number. It is a critical stats that reflects how many times you're physically fired your camera mechanical shutter. Every digital camera has a limited shutter life expectancy. When you're shopping for a used camera, knowing the shutter count is critical as it can determine the remaining lifespan of the shutter. If you're considering purchasing a used DSLR camera, check the shutter count. For example, a camera with a low shutter count will have a longer life expectancy than to one that, like for example, a, a sports photographer shooting. You have tons of shutter counts, tons of times the mechanical shutter goes back and forth. You definitely will have that wear and tear on that camera that you're trying to buy. Additionally, knowing the shutter count of your camera can get you an idea of what the value of your camera is if you're trying to sell your camera to someone. I'm pretty sure they will be asking you, what is your camera shutter count? If you're using a mirrorless camera, you might have two types of shutter actuation, mechanical and electronical shutter. We'll explore how electronic shutters can help you prolong your camera shutter lifespan, making mirrorless cameras a compelling option. Now that we understand the importance of the shutter count, let's explore how to check it with the different camera brands. Uh, checking Canon shutter count can be complex, but all you have to do, uh, if you're on, for example, Windows or Mac, you have to download the program EOS Info Program. It is an excellent tool, not only provides you with a share account, but also have other features that Canon users can utilize. Now, if you're a Nikon shooter, take your Nikon and throw it back into the sack with all the rest of the potatoes. Okay, jokes aside, Nikon and Pentax cameras, if you can call them that, embed every single shutter count in JPEG images, EXIF data. To access it, you can use this website. Now for Sony users, you just have to rely on the third-party websites. Here's some of them. And just since I'm Sony user, I'm gonna just quickly show you how it's done here on my desktop. So all you have to do is you just have to have your camera. Here I have a Sony A7S III. Put SD cards you don't need to put lens on, battery on, turn it on, put a manual option just to take photo. Take photo or two, then shut off your camera, get the cards out, put SD card into your computer, access this website, and there's a couple of other ones that you can just use, but we'll use this one. We'll use this one, it's called Shutter Tool. Uh, obviously you have instructions, frequently asked questions about supported models. It gives you an option of all the models that are supported here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open one of the images and drop it down. And here you go, it gives me a model, time of capture, one that actual frame was capture and exposure with the mechanical shutter made up to this file. So 14,010. And this is how you do for all the rest of Sony cameras. Now Olympus makes it easy because they actually have it on different websites, the step-by-step pressing on the camera and you can find out without any kind of software. So with this, I just found out there's some steps to follow. First, you gotta turn on the camera, uh, open the memory card door, hold the play and OK button simultaneously, press dial in this order, up, down, left, right, and then press shutter button and select up on the dial. And you will be greeted with exactly shutter count. Finish him. Now, before we conclude this video, I would like to answer some of the really interesting questions that I found out on the internet that people were asking. 
and specifically for example Sony's there's an older models of DSLRs they have a two number of shutter count so that's the question why do I get two numbers and the majority of it is A55, A33, A560, A580 those cameras shutter could mechanically move more than once to capture an image depending on the mode live preview or DSLR panoramas or HDRs etc the second larger number is the number of actual shutter movements and the first number usually is like a smaller is the finished images and another question can you reset camera shutter count under normal circumstances camera shutter count data is stored in the camera's firmware or internal memory and cannot be reset some manufacturers that sell refurbished cameras might reset the shutter count to zero but it's rare that they do that attempting to reset the counter using a custom firmware is risky and requires advanced skills potentially damaging the camera what is exif data and how does it relate to shutter count exif exchangeable image file format data is set for metadata embedded in the image file by the camera to contain that information including date and time camera settings and the shutter count by examining that data of the photo taken with the used camera you can determine the number of the shutter actuation and assess the camera's overall condition next what happens when the camera reaches its shutter count limit when camera reaches its shutter count limit it may still continue functioning still the image quality can deteriorate and mechanical shutter may eventually require replacement or some sort of fix which is usually pretty expensive especially with new cameras that is out there the definition of a good shutter count varies depending on the camera model a shutter count rating between 100,000 to 200,000 is standard for entry-level or mid-range DSLR cameras in contrast professional grade cameras they can go between that 400,000 to 500,000 when buying a used camera aim for one with a shutter count well below its rating was the difference between mirrorless and DSLR camera regarding shutter life. Mirrorless cameras often have a longer shutter life compared to DSLRs because they may use electronic shutter that lacks that mechanical components prone to wear. However, it's essential to research the specific model as some mirrorless cameras still incorporated automatic shutters alongside with electronic ones. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about the shutter counts. Knowing the shutter counts, it can be a game changer if you're buying or selling camera or considering costly repairs. If I miss something, please let me know in the comments below. Well, because, you know, I'm only human and we all make mistakes. Otherwise, I hope this information was helpful for you. If you enjoyed the video, remember like, subscribe and all that good stuff. You know what to do. Stay awesome, my friends, and I will see you in the next video.